How do you attach a PDF to an email inside of Keep? Welcome to the I Love Keep show. This is Tyler Garns and I am your host. And today we're talking about email attachments. Now, it may not be quite as obvious as it should be, but you can actually add attachments to emails inside of Keep. Maybe just not in the most traditional way. So I'm gonna show you first how to do this inside of Keep Max Classic, otherwise known as Infusionsoft, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it inside of Keep Lite Pro or Max. So let's jump right in. First thing we'll do is we'll jump into a Keep Max Classic account. So I'm gonna start a new broadcast, a new email broadcast, which basically brings us into the email builder. And this would be the same email builder that you're using inside the campaign builder. So it's the exact same thing. And I'm just gonna grab one of these templates here. So once that template loads, I can either link text or link a button or link an image. Uh, anywhere I can apply a link for someone to click on something, that's where I can apply an attachment. So let's see this button here. I'm gonna change the words from visit blog to download. Say download now. So let's say the content suggests that I'm sending them a PDF, an ebook or something like that. The button now says download now. Here where it says button link, I have options. I can type in a URL, I can link to an email address, a phone number, a file download, landing page, web form, order form, etc. So I'm gonna choose file download. And here's where I can upload my attachment. I'm going to click the upload new file button. This then, uh, I'm gonna select my file and this uploads that file into what's called the file box in Keep Max Classic. So now that button is linked to that attachment, to that PDF. So that's the easy way to do this. Now, some of you may say, well, I wanna actually attach a file in the traditional attachment way, uh, not have a link or a button that links to the PDF. Well, in this email builder, you cannot do that. But you can in the legacy email builder. So let's get out of this email builder and let's go to our main menu. From the main menu, we're gonna go under marketing and click on templates. Templates is where we can access the legacy template builder, the legacy email builder. Here in the upper right hand corner where it says add a template, I will click that drop down and then choose email. I will start from scratch in this situation. And you'll see that here we have the legacy legacy email builder. <laughs> so this is like the, uh, not the actual original email builder because there was one or two before this, but uh, this one, you'll notice if you scroll down past the actual builder, down at the bottom of the screen, there's a link to add attachments. Here you can choose from your files that you've uploaded, or you can upload a new file, and this will actually attach a file in the traditional way. So if you need to have it as an attachment for some reason, that's the way you do it inside of Keep Max Classic, by going to the legacy templates and attaching a file there. Your email building experience will not be as good. You cannot build emails there with quite the same drag and drop ease that we have now. Formatting is a little bit difficult. You can though switch it from HTML to true plain text. So you can send true plain text emails there as well with attachments, which can be helpful. So that's Keep Max Classic. Let's jump over now to a Keep Max account. The email builder, the new email builder inside of Keep Lite, Keep Pro and Keep Max is the same. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into that account. We'll click create email broadcast. And I'm going ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just use one of these standard templates. So I'll just select this one here. Let that template load. And then you'll notice here as you look through the content snippets that there is nothing that you can use to add an attachment. Again, there is no attachment feature. And so you would assume, okay, well, maybe I'll just have a button the same way we did in the other builder. And uh, instead of a URL, I will choose a file upload. Well, you can see the action types for the buttons, open website, send email, call phone number, or send SMS, so that's not what we want. Down here we have special links that only has appointment links, and then we have URL options. So there is no option actually to 
natively upload a PDF file and link to it. But there is a hack and a pretty easy way to do this. So let's get out of this content snippet. What I'm going to do is go to Uploads here. You'll notice that you have Images. Images is a, an, an image library, so that's like free stock photos. And then Uploads is any images that you've uploaded. So you can see I've uploaded our logo here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my PDF here so that I can attach it or link to it in my email. So this says Upload Image. doesn't say Upload PDFs, but the funny thing is it will accept a PDF if you know how to do it. So I'm going to click Upload Image. And then you'll see it brings my, uh, my finder where I can go find files on my computer. And anything that's not an image is grayed out. But if I click the Options button down here and I change it from Format being selected on Image Files to All Files, then I can click on a PDF. So I'm going to click on my Tag Naming Conventions PDF here, select Open, and that's going to upload. So now here's the tricky part. It uploaded my PDF, but it can't create a, an image preview from my PDF because it's not expecting PDFs, but it's actually there. So you can see when I hover over this logo, it's got the three dots there so I can edit that little image. But if I go to the left here, it also does the same thing for my PDF. Even though I can't really see it, I can tell that there's something there. So what I can do is drag this snippet, drop it into my email, and the great thing here is that here it gives me the URL for the image, which is actually a PDF. So I'm going to double click here to select this URL for my image. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete that snippet out of my email because I don't need it. Now I'm going to go back to my button. Currently it says let's start. And I'm going to change uh, that from let's start to download now. Okay, and then in the URL for the image, I'm going to paste in the URL or the URL for the link. Sorry, I'm going to paste in the URL that I got from my PDF upload that it thinks is an image, and I'm going to link it there. That way, when someone gets this email and they click on that button, then instead of going to the image that Keep thinks it is, it's actually going to open up that. URL, which is the PDF. I can test that now by just going to a new browser window, pasting in that URL, hitting return, and sure enough, it loads the PDF. So I'm good to go. So that's a quick little hack to help you link to a PDF, a free report, an ebook, or something like that inside the new email builder. I imagine that very soon Keep will update this so there is a normal uh, upload file option uh, or an attachment option for our email. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on Keep here at the I Love Keep show.